Steps outside. Your chicken loves you. Yeah. Welcome to my channel. I actually just wanted to share with you a fun journey that we went on. This is a very hands-on science unit that we took on and we decided to incubate chickens. I do want to share with you our journey and everything that we went through and what we did. We bought an incubator. We had to make sure that the humidity was at a certain percent through an X amount of time. Lockdown was when we had to make sure that we didn't open the incubator to make sure that they were to make sure that they were able to rotate in the egg the one time before they were actually hatching on day 21. So we incubated our first batch back in October, but my son actually opened our incubator through the lockdown and the one that I thought we were gonna be able to keep wound up passing, it just stopped moving in the egg and it never hatched. So then we got another batch that wound up not being fertile and then we got another batch that we had six and we hatched four. So now um, our biology unit in science has turned into watching them incubate and take care of them. I'm actually with them right now. It's too cold for them to go outside. What we have learned is that we have three hens and one rooster. The rooster has not found his voice yet. We do keep them inside. I am about to get their chicken coop, but because it's so cold, I don't want them out there yet until I knew that they had fully developed their feathers so that they wouldn't get frostbite or freeze to death. So I'm going to introduce to you our little, <laughs> our chicken. Say hi, guys. <laughs> Are you saying hi? Yeah. You want to show them the journey we've been on? Yeah. So I was actually under the impression that they weren't fully grown adults until 21 weeks. So they're actually only two months old. So I have a nursery that we don't really use and I had a crib that didn't have a mattress in it because the kids slept with me or I close slept. So I lined it with a box because the chicks got big fast. I hooked them up and they're hanging out in there and they're nice and warm, but they're taken care of. I don't have to worry about them freezing. I love them. Um, I wouldn't be able to eat them. I'd have to eat their grandbabies. Um, let's see. My rooster was actually pipped when I had to take the three out because it had been 72 hours and when I removed the three his membrane and his egg dried up and I had to conduct chicken surgery and I had to help him get out of the egg because it he couldn't get out of it himself which I have a video of My cat actually loves them and cuddles with them and lays with them and they love each other. <laughs> really can't wait until one of my hens become broody, which means that she's ready to have a baby. And then we could watch the natural process of how they become chicks 
for the mom instead of it being incubated. And what I really want to know is if, because I've been their mom, will they have the instincts and know how to become a chicken mom? Like, will that come naturally to them? Or will they not know what to do because they didn't have a mom to teach them? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. What about this one? Uh. Look at it. <laughs> Where's the head? It's on the other side. He's trying to walk. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> I wish I knew who was a boy or a girl so we could talk about names. Yeah, you see, that needs to be rubbed off back there. That needs to be rubbed off. Go to bed. Yeah. No, Mikey, no! Oh,